The sounds of veggies sizzling, the buzz of a busy kitchen, and in the center of it all, and an award-winning, highly acclaimed chef. Mmm, no, we're not in a high-end hotel. We're in a place of higher learning. We accommodate the students who just want a burger and fries, and we also have a bunch of uh, just home-cooked meals. Jamie likes fresh local food made with care, and he believes in doing all he can to help students and his fellow staff succeed. I get to be creative, and I get to uh, uh, pretty much mentor the rest of the um, staff, because they haven't done a lot of, you know, the finer, finer fine dining. So I get to use some of my skills that way. And Jamie is paying it forward. When he was a culinary student at Camosun College, he not only thrived on the mentoring, but he was honored with a scholarship in his third year. It just showed me that all my hard work was being acknowledged and that I was headed in the right direction with my career path. Jamie is the president of the Victoria branch of the Canadian Culinary Federation, and he volunteers countless hours to the Island Chefs Collaborative. Both organizations work hard to raise money so the next generation of chefs will have the same opportunities. The next generation of um, decision makers in the kitchen, uh, they will be the ones who decide where they buy their food ingredients from. And that's another benefit to empowering youth. Whether they're eating the food or cooking it, they're learning the value of local food. We have a lot of great farms here and uh, a lot of great food comes from Vancouver Island, but um, there's no point importing stuff when we have everything in our backyard. I can't believe that after 25 years I'm back to eating campus food. But thanks to chefs like Jamie, the food is uh, better than ever. From UVic, I'm Karen Algersma for The Daily. Uh, can I have a, a little bit more please? <laughs>